Hi, good morning. Jay Lakhani here at Bindal FX, and uh, it's uh, Friday, 22nd of uh, November 2019. And uh, for the last uh, several months, I've been covering gold a lot in my live trading room broadcasts uh, as well as uh, tutorial. Uh, so today I would like to go through the chart of gold. Um, yesterday uh, we were actually shorting this uh, that is on an intraday basis and as you can see uh, the Bindle FX system was giving out fantastic uh, sell signals and then uh, pull back back to the trigger back to the pivots and then offering another one two three setup and uh, down she went. Uh, this morning, I would like to cover um, how to get uh, a perfect entry and not to get sucked in on these long candles. So again, here I'm looking at uh, is M5, which is a five minute chart, uh, short term intraday, um, it is long. And this is the bindle alert giving a long signal. Uh, so obviously if you missed uh, an entry around here, um, this was a, a nice move. Then obviously what you need to do is to wait for a pullback. Now see how initially these uh, pivot points are breaking. And finally it stops at the echo pivot. And then you get a pullback back. To the trigger line. Uh, here I've got M5 and M15 long. Obviously the longer term are slightly bearish. Uh, so if you were to look at uh, the four hourly chart, um, it is uh, bearish to sideways, but gearing up for a potential big move. Now I would like to talk about this big candle. Often, as happens with uh, amateur traders, when you get these big candles, uh, they have this fear of missing out. So what tends to happen is that they get sucked in onto this trade. Now, nobody will know for sure the reasoning behind why it goes up and then come back down. You can look for or find many reasons to that, but I've often said in my tutorials is um, I don't care about the reasons. All I care is the price action. And one of the things I always say is never, ever, 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 ever ch uh, chase a long candle. Yes, sometimes you will miss a move. If you miss a move, so be it. But you have a trading plan. You have a strategy, you decide when to enter and why to enter, yeah? Often you will see that uh, these tails, long candles, wicks, railway tracks are a way to weed out amateurs out of the markets, are a way out to gun the stops or even to let traders in prematurely at the wrong time, right? So imagine if somebody chased this long candle, gets a very bad entry, prices come back down, and they panic, and uh, they come out. So here it could mean stops being uh, gunned. It could mean Amateurs getting in, a lot of buy volume. So market makers will shoot up the prices. Only then you will see pros coming in, maybe taking profits or driving the prices back down. And this is when one should always trade at a one to three setup, right? The Bindle FX system is purely based on a one, two, three setup, right? We don't trade breakouts. We don't trade long candles. We patiently wait for a pullback. And here you can see 
the pullback has happened back to the trigger and it created a nice one two three that's your one two and point three point three for longs is a higher low and then as soon as it consolidates about the ribbon the ribbon is now slopping up prices close about the pivot two and you basically enter here subsequently it breaks pivot three it breaks the magenta breaks the aqua okay so if you look at here your entry would have been around here i mean that's a nice easy 50 pip move very easy right now long term what do i think of um, gold so if we start looking at the four hourly chart obviously we have had a huge uh, move uh, uh, to the downside uh, early on uh, <clears throat> i mean um, six months ago during the summer we were actually trading it to the long side and lots of members had uh, fantastic uh, long trades there and if you look at this four hourly chart all i'm really getting is a series of lower highs multiple tops lower highs lower highs okay and uh, this long trend line broke and also if you look at here this support is holding for now so looking at potential for next week what i would look at is this trend line here okay if we have a decisive break and about the trigger line then of course i use the lower time frames to engineer an entry okay so let's say this would be my uh 15 minute chart so what i'm really looking for gold here i mean intraday it is uh, already uh, given a very nice uh, a uh, long signal today so i would expect this trend line to uh, break and then create a pullback and uh, up it goes so certainly gold uh, is watch list for a potential big 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 move to the upside if however this scenario does not happen uh, what i'm looking for is this support trend line to break and then a pull back back to the yellow or red pivots okay and then down she goes okay as a trader i don't care where the market goes i don't care if the market goes up i don't care if the market goes down all i'm really interested in is the market moves right if it goes up i'm looking for a long if it goes down, I'm looking for a short. I hope this video tutorial has been of help to you. Do share this with your friends. If you feel anybody will benefit from this video, do share it. If you have benefited, press the like button and feel free to put in your comments. Also, Feel free to tell me how your trading is going on. Tell me what areas you're looking for help. What areas of trading, whether it is price action, whether it is chart analysis, whether it is trader psychology, mental fitness, self-sabotage, having a confidence in your trading plan, whatever it is. Put it in that comment section and I'll be happy to do a video. God bless and happy trading. Have a fantastic trading week ahead. Bye.